Hello there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create a content with code uh, in Archer Core. I have uh, created a blog post um, on uh, the steps we are going to follow along. So just you can also follow the blog post, it's in the description. Uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create the CMS and also add a module and then add a content fit to add a content programmatically instead of going and creating the content manually in the CMS. So um, I have created a folder um, called Archit and then I also have a folder called content with code. I will create my CMS inside here. Um, I will copy this and then paste it. This will create my CMS. Next is to add a module to my CMS. So uh, we are adding a module called projects in your CMS and um, this is just additional step. Uh, it is not required just to create a solution file and then add a, add a project which we created into the solution file. Um, yeah, as I said, this is not required, but uh, you can follow along. So this is where we are adding the reference. So we are actually adding the reference of um, projects in the MyCMS. Um, so the CLI command to do that is this. So here are the solution. Now we have created the project and then added and created a solution. We have created the module and then reference the module in the project. So the next step is um, let's open that in Visual Studio Code. Okay, maybe I will zoom a little bit. Okay, we have a CMS here and that is pretty basic. Um, yes, we can actually do a .NET restore here. This will restore the um, packages. Okay, we are using preview packages. Actually, the .NET uh, .Archit Core 1.1 is already released. So you can um, remove these things and it still works. Okay, so our, our packages are... Um, updated right now i'm using a uh, version 1.1 i have updated that in the um, cms project and also in the module okay now in the cm in the uh, module we will have a controller and a view that's a uh, pretty basic let's go and then add a migration so uh migration uh, file I'm naming it as migration.cs. You can actually uh, name whatever you want. I will put it in the projects um, module. So here I will copy this and then paste it. So what we have in the migration is uh, we have to inherit from the data migration and then we are injecting the content definition manager. In the content definition manager, there is a alert type definition um, met, uh, function which takes the um, parameter uh, which is the type parameter so we are going to create a content uh, which is called project and we are saying we can draft it we can version it we can create it we can apply permission to it and then we can also list it so each uh, content cannot be just added um, Part, so we have to add uh, it as its own part. So we are going to create a type and then we are setting uh, it as a uh, part inside itself. On status done, we can now add parts to that content. Um, here we are actually adding uh, parts called name, um, shot date, start date, uh, image, and then cost. So what happens is when the migration is initialized, uh, the create method will be called. And when the create method uh, is executing, we will create the project and it just returns an int. So the next step is to add the migration to the services. So I will copy this, go to the um, project um, startup, and then add that. I will add data migration. And yes, so we have add uh, the migrator as a deep uh, IE data migrator. The next step is just run the CMS. Um, we can run it directly from here. 
.NET 1. Okay, our application has uh, application is running. Let's launch it. Okay, our uh, Orchard Core site has started. I will set up a headless site and I will use my default. Okay, uh, we have uh, provided the setup information. Click finish setup. Now we can log into our CMS. We have logged in. Now the first step is to check the content type. So to check the content type, you can go into the content and uh, then content type definition and then content types. Here you see create new types and then you see content paths. So right now we don't have any projects because we have not enabled the module yet. To enable the module, you have to come to configuration, set the uh, features, and then type projects. So we have uh, my cms.projects available as a module or as a feature here. Just enable it. Okay, our feature has been enabled. Now come back on the items. In the content items, you have a new project button here and the content type definition and click content types. We have a project here. You can also create a new project from here. So we can go to content items, click new project. Now we can create a project. Project one, we can add image or cost and then publish. And we have our um, content as a list here. And we can also view. So the basic view will appear. Yes, that is how we create our content from the source code. Um, but you have to be sure we still can actually modify the content here. So if you want to add a field, you can still come here and add it. So you have to be mindful. Like when you create the content uh, from the code, uh, you have to be mindful that uh, not to add in new properties um, inside the uh, inside the UI. So if you want to modify the um, content, you can come back and then create a new method called update one. So here we have um, update to the project. We have alter part uh, definition. It's the same. We are still using the same project. And instead of um, name, we are adding a description, which is a text text field and also a description. And then um, this returns a two and then this returns a one. So next time when you um, restart the application, uh, uh, instead of create, this update from one will run. So let's do that. Stop it. Restart it. I will refresh the content items. So when you go and check the content types now, click edit, you see the description field automatically added. So when you want to um, add more fields, you can uh, keep um, you can keep adding migrations, uh, more migrations. So you can add a, another method which returns three and keep on adding the migrations. So just keep in mind you're not um, actually going there and then changing the um, um, fields or adding new fields in the UI. If you want to make sure like, okay, I want to do everything in the code, come here and then add a field here so that uh, it's easy to like add uh, this module to another Orchard Core project and uh, get the new content item um, as fast as you can. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for this video. Um, if you like what you saw, please uh, make sure you subscribe or give a like. That helps the YouTube's algorithm. Um, apart from that, uh, I will see you soon in another video. Bye-bye.